Hi, welcome to English Composition. I'm Michael Chang, and I'm with Cher Chen today. 各位同学，大家好，欢迎回来英文作文课程。我是 Cher， 在我身边的是郑老师。And today in Unit 17, we we will use a recommendation letter to show how to give examples in a letter that you write. 好，今天呢，我们要为各位同学讲解的是第十七个单元。这个单元之中呢，我们将利用推荐性的写作来介绍、教导各位同学怎么样在文章中去利用恰当的例子。So now let's learn more about using examples in our writing focus. 好，那在今天的这个写作呃写作重点部分呢，我们先教教各位同学要怎么样去善用你的例子。Right, today in this unit, we are going to show you how to write a recommendation letter. 好，那今天呢，我们已经跟各位同学提到了，我们将要示范如何去写作推荐信。And in a recommendation letter, it's you can tell about a person's good qualities, but it's actually better to show why that person, why the person that you recommend would be a good hire. 好，那当然，一封推荐信里面一定是要推荐这个人的长处啦。但是呢，你光是只是写说，哎，他这个人值得推荐是不够的，你还可以呢，再好好的再加强一下。And you can do this by giving examples of the person's good qualities. 好，那要怎么样加强呢？当然就是针对这个人的好的部分呢，去提供一些好的例子。And so now there's a big difference between telling and showing. So for example, I can tell you that a person is responsible, but you may not really understand how how responsible that person is unless I give you some examples, and you can and I can show you through those examples about the person's responsibility. 好，我们经常用一句俗谚说“百闻不如一见”哦。其实呢，这个意思呢，用在我们今天的课程上也是合理的哦。那当我们经常在说这个人非常负责任的时候，光是说他很负责任，他是个负责任的人哦，这样是不够的哦。你没有办法了解什么叫做负责任的人哦。那这个时候呢，如果你可以给他一些例子的话呢，哦，你就比较容易能够理解，哎，为什么我们会觉得他是一个很认真负责的人了。And so, to, in today's model passage, the teacher will say that the person she is recommending is responsible, and then she gives examples so you can see the student through the eyes of the teacher. 好，那像是今天的写作范例呢，我们会提到说，哎，这位被介绍的学生呢，哦，他是非常的负责任，哦，认真负责。那这个时候呢，哦，我们能够透过老师的眼睛来看看这个学生是什用什么样的行为哦去感动这个老师。Now, giving examples can really liven up your paper and make your points much clearer. But there are some guidelines that you should follow when you are giving examples in a paper that you write. 啊，那当然，生动活泼的例子呢，可以活化文章，并且使你的论点更加的清晰。但是呢，举例的时候，你必须要注意以下的一些重点。And our first guideline is that your examples should be directly related to your topic. 好，那第一个各位同学需要遵守的一些重一个重点呢，就是你的例子应该要紧扣主题。And so now, for example,、uh, let's say that you're writing a recommendation letter about someone named Jennifer Lin. 好，我们举例来讲哦，就像我们的写作范例里里面一样，如果呢你现在要介绍的这个人，他的名字叫做 Jennifer 呃、uh, Jennifer Lin. And so, if we want to show that Jennifer is responsible, we would not write about her good grades or her her high IQ. These would be examples of her intelligence, not examples of how she acts responsibly. 好，那当然，如果我们现在呢，希望去陈述的是这位林小姐呢，她是一个认真负责的人，那你就不应该只提到说她的功课很好，或者是智商很高，因为呢，这些跟她的这个认真负责没有关系。Now, our second tip is to Use examples, or make sure that your examples are fair. 好，那第二个呃，各位同学需要遵守的方针呢，就是你必须要确保你的例子的公道性。And so you should not use biased examples or examples that are very uncommon. 好，那当然你不应该选一些很不寻常的例子，或者是很不客观的例子来当做举例。And so, for example, you could say that Taiwan has a cool climate because, for example, there was a day in February that was quite cool. 好，例如呢，你如果想要说明说台湾的天气很冷，但是你却用二月份挑了一个最冷的天气作为佐证，哦，那这样的例子呢，当然就不够客观了。And but we know that this example would be really unfair because we know that most days in Taiwan are pretty warm, and you can't just pick one day when it was cool in February and use that as an example for the environment the whole year around. 
。好，我们之所以觉得这个例子不客观呢，当然就是因为我们知道台湾的天气哦，大多数呢都是非常温暖的。那你不能总是只挑了这个一年之中最冷的一天，然后就说哎，台湾的天气很冷哦，这样呢就是不够客观的意思。Your examples must fit the general trend of a situation. Now, if we go back to taking a look, or if we go back to using an example about a person, if we said that Jennifer Lynn, for example, was unpunctual because she missed one class during her four years in school, that would be really unfair because generally she's very punctual and very responsible. 啊，那因此呢，我们也可以说呢，你举的例子必须要具有它的常态性哦。也就是说，假设呢，我们现在又回到这个 Jennifer Lin 林小姐的这推荐信里面哦。那你说她这个呃，只一个学期之中哦，迟到了一次，那你就要说这个人呢，他平常啊都一计不守时又不负责任，这样子是不公平的。因为呢，可能任何其他的每一天哦，林小姐都是非常的准时到学校哦。那你只用一次的例子来判断她，那就是不公平的。And now our third guideline for using examples is to explain how your examples are related to your essay. 第三个，各位同学应该遵守的方针呢，也就是你必须要去解释你的例证跟论点之间的关联性。And so, for example, don't just write a list of examples, but also explain what the examples are, explain what the data that you provide shows. 啊，那这个方针的意思呢，也就是告诉各位同学，你不能只是把例子丢出来，但是都不解释哦。在例子之后呢，你应该要解释一下的它的意思是什么。And so, if you are giving example, or if you are giving data, if you are giving statistics, you should also interpret what those statistics mean or what those statistics show for your audience. 好，我们举例来讲哦，有时候呢，你会给了一一连串的数字哦，统计数字，但是你不应该只给统计数字哦。那如果你没有加上任何的解释，数字本身没有意义哦。那你应该要稍微的解释一下这些数字背后代表的含义是什么。So now let's take a look at some figures for how much a company like ABC Publishing earns. 好，我们举个例子来讲哦，我们以这个 ABC 出版社哦的收入呢来当做呃一个例子，你看到很多的数字。And you can see that in the year 2013, they earned four million dollars. In 2012, they earned two million dollars. In 2011, they earned one million dollars. 好，你可以发现呢，它在每一个年度呢，它的所收入的价呃金额都不一样。二零一三年四百万，二零一二年两百万，二零一一年只有一百万元。All right. So now, after you give these raw figures, you should also interpret them. 好，那当你给了这些数字之后呢，你当然还必须要加以说明了。And you can write something like this: ABC Publishing is growing more and more successful. It has doubled its earnings every year since 2011. 好，你接下来你可以写出这样的句子，像是 ABC 出版社它相当的成功，自从二零一一年以来，每年的营收都有两倍的成长。Right now, let's take a little bit of a break right here, and we will be back with more English composition in a few moments. 好，我们现在先休息一下，待会回来我们再带领各位同学继续学习。Back. Now let's continue working on on our recommendation letter. 好，欢迎各位同学回来。接下来呢，我们继续往我们把我们的这个呃推荐信一起完成。Now, as we prepare to write our recommendation letter, let's brainstorm about some of the ideas that we could include in the recommendation letter. 好，那当然，第一个步骤呢，我们先进行一下脑力激荡，一起来想一想，哎，关于这个人呢，哦，一个人我们有哪一些可以值得推荐的特质？ All right, and we are going to make a brainstorm web now about what we can put into a, re a recommendation letter. 那当然，我们要脑力激荡的时候，势必是要依赖脑力激荡网络啦。我们先来看看这个网络。And so now, here are some personal qualities that we can include that we can include in a recommendation letter. 好，我们现在呢，我们来想一想，有哪一些特质是我们可以把它放进一封推荐信里头的。Right, one category could be intelligent. 好，那其中一个呢是指他很聪明的。You can also tell how the person's responsible. 啊，负责任的。Or creative. 呃，有创意的。Sometimes the person is experienced. 有经验的。And also independent. 哦，独立的。A person could be very friendly. 哦，很友善的。And they could also be hard hardworking. 努力认真的。And then finally, there could be some special task that the person is really good at. 哦，具有特殊专长的。Right now, let's watch a little skit, and in this skit, we're going to see if the person that we're going to write the recommendation letter for has any of the qualities that we put into our brainstorm web. 
好，我们接下来呢，先看一段短片。透过这个短短片呢，我们来看看这个我们要推荐的人，他是不是具备某一些我们刚刚提到的特质。Excuse me, Miss Lee, are you busy now? Hi, Jennifer. Come on in. I'm not busy at all. Professor Chang and I were just chatting. So how have you been? I haven't seen you for months. I've been very busy. I'm getting ready to graduate, and I'm looking for a job. That sounds very good. So what kind of job are you looking for? I'm trying to find a job in PR with a large international company. Wow, that's very ambitious. So, what can I do for you today? Actually, it is about the job I'm applying for. I was wondering if you could write a recommendation letter for me. Certainly, it's no problem at all. Just let me know what I have to do. Thank you, Miss Lee. You just have to fill out this form and mail it. Okay, I'll do it this week. Thank you again, Miss Lee. You're welcome, Jennifer. It was really nice talking to you again. Bye. Bye. Did you ever teach Jennifer? Oh, yes, I did. She's one of the best students that I've ever had. She was one of the smartest and most responsible students that I've taught in the last 10 years. Yes, it was the same for me. She was in the first class that I taught here. She was the most responsible student in the class. She always did her work on time, and she always acted as the group leader whenever I signed group projects. She did the same thing in my class. And she was so hardworking too. I coached her in the speech contest last year. She spent weeks making sure that she could deliver the speech perfectly. Oh, I remember that contest. She was really good. And you know what probably impressed me the most about her? No, what? She was really innovative. Her groups always came up with the most creative ideas whenever they did presentations. They always had skits and games and charts. Everything they did was just so interesting. Wow! It looks like you have a lot of good things that you can write about her. Yes, I do. In fact, I think I'm going to start working on this recommendation now. Okay. Have a good afternoon. You too. Bye. All right. Bye bye. All right. Now, in our recommendation letter, we don't want to write about all the qualities we thought of in our word web.、Uh, we just want to focus on a few, a few key qualities. 好，那当然，在我们的推荐信之中呢，哦，因为篇幅有限的关系，我们不能够把所有想到的特质都写进去哦。我们必须要把它专注在几个比较重要的一些特点。And from the skit, we saw that Jennifer has the following qualities that we want to include in our recommendation letter. 好，那从刚刚的短片之中呢，你可以看得出来，这个 Jennifer 呢，她的确是符合我们的可以提到的一些特质的。And first, she's responsible. 好，第一点呢，她是一个很负责任的人。She's hardworking. Oh, he is a hardworking person. And creative. And he has the creativity. And now we're going to take these qualities and we're going to put them into a list, and then we can add some details to them. Ah, that of course, we have just mentioned these key characteristics. We can add some details to them, and then we can add some details to them. And then we can add some details to them, and then we can add some details to them. And then we can add some details to them, and then we can Examples of being responsible are always on time and acting like a group leader. 好，我们首先呢可以看到哦，这三个特质呢条列出来之后，关于第一点，他尽责呃很负责任的部分呢，我们可以讲讲到的一些例子呢，是他只是总是能够准时哦，而且呢他总是愿意哦这个担任领袖，具备领袖的风范。Right, another example is how she's hardworking, and examples here are that she studied hard and she worked very hard to prepare for a speech contest. 好，那第二点提到说他是一个很努力的人。那他的例子呢，包括包括了他是很认真读书的人，而且呢，他为了演讲比赛是全力以赴。And then the third quality that we want to put in the recommendation letter is how she's creative. 好，那第三点我们讲到的是他很有创意哦。And we can see that she thinks quick and that she's also great. She was also great during the group presentation. 哦，那我们可以看到的例子呢，是他这个思想非常敏捷，而且呢，他做了非常出色的分组报告。Right now, our next step is to take these ideas and turn them into an outline. And so, the first thing that we want to do is come up with a general statement for our thesis statement. 好，那接下来呢，我们要开始把大纲详细的列出来了。首先呢，我们先把主旨论述写出来。
And our thesis statement could be something like this. I have found her to be responsible, hardworking, and innovative. 好，接下来呢，我们要来把刚刚想出来的这些细节做一个大纲的条列。那我们首先呢，当然要先写出文章的主旨论述啦。哦，那主旨论述呢，看可以写出像这样的句子。哦，我发现他是一个负责任、努力又具有创造力的学生。All right. Then the next thing that we want to do is also have an idea, clear idea for what to include in our conclusion. 好，那接下来呢，一样我们要把这个呃结论的部分写出来。And so we can have a conclusion like this. I'm sure that she will be a wonderful asset to any company that hires her. 好，那结尾的部分呢，我们可以写这样的句子。我相信无论什么公司雇佣了她，她都会是贵公司宝贵的资产。And now as we Think about these ideas more carefully. We can expand them into a complete outline. 好，那我们把这些想法呢更仔细的想一想。哦，那我们可以把这个完整的大纲写出来。All right. So now let's take a look at the outline. And you can see first here we're going to expand the introduction a bit. 好，那首先呢，我们先看到的是哦，在这个开始的这个部分呢，我们会稍微把它再扩张一些。All right. One of the things that we want to do in this out in the introduction is to tell the purpose of the letter that we're writing, and we can say that the purpose is to give a recommendation for Jennifer Lin. 好，那首先呢，在这个呃开头引言的部分，你会先告知你写这封信的目的。哦，那这当然目的也就是去呃推荐一个人。All right. Then another thing that we、we'll、do in our outline is to tell our relationship to the student, and so for example, we can tell. Uh, the teacher can explain the classes that she taught, or the or the reasons that she had contact with the student. And so we can see here the teacher taught the student English reading, English, English conversation, and was also her advisor. 好，那接下来呢，当然必须要解释一下这个推荐人跟被推荐人的关系哦。那在这里呢，身为一个老师跟学生的关系，你可以写出来的是哦，这学生上过你哪些课，或是你跟这学生为什么有这样的接触，像是他上过你的这英文阅读、英文口语训练，或者是你是身为他的这个一个呃指导老师。And then the last thing in the Introduction is to tell your opinion about the person you you are recommend recommending, and so the opinion is I have found her to be responsible, hardworking, and innovative. 好，那在这开头引言段落最后一个部分呢，就是提出你对这个人的看法了。那在这里呢，就可以把刚刚的主旨陈述放进来，说我发现他是个负责任、努力又具创造力的学生。Right, so now as we go on to the body, we're going to have three paragraphs based upon each of those of those three factors or the three qualities that we had in the introduction. And our first body paragraph is related to how the person is responsible. 好，那接下来呢，在主体段落的部分，我们就分成三个段落，每一个段落呢就讲一个它的特质。第一个特质呢，哦，就是在第一个主体段落的部分，我们提到的是他是一个很尽责任的人。And so you can see here we have a couple examples. We have three examples of how the person was responsible. 好，那我们在这一个段落呢，我们举了三个例子来表示他有多么的认真负责。All right. As we go on to paragraph two, we see this is focused completely on how the person is hardworking. 好，那第二个段落呢，我们则是把它专注在讨论这个人有多么的努力。And again, we put down three very specific examples for to show how the person is hardworking. 好，那一样，我们放入了非常明确的例子来告诉你为什么我们说这个人很努力。Right, and then we're going to go on to paragraph three, and this is about how the student is innovative. 好，那第三个这个主体段落的部分呢，讲到的则是他非常具有创造力。And again, in this in this section, we want to think about clear examples that show innovation. 好，那一样呢，我们当然是要给一些例子去证明他是怎么样的具备创造能力呢？ All、right, and then as we go on to the conclusion, what we're doing here is we're summarizing and we're just trying to give an overview of our opinion about the student. 到了结尾的段落部分呢，当然我们首先呢需要做一个总结哦。那总结的部分呢，我们也去提到说为什么他是一个非常棒的学生。And so we're saying here that she's talented, she works hard, and that she's going to be a wonderful asset for her for the, any company that hires her. 好，那当然我们就提到他是非常具备天分，而且他工呃非常认真努力。那当然呢，他会成为贵公司哦非常宝贵的资产。All right, so now let's take a little bit of a break right here, and we will be back with more English composition momentarily. 好，我们现在先休息一下，待会回来呢，我们就可以来看完整的文章了。
Welcome back. Before the break, we spent some time preparing an outline, and now what we're going to do in this section is show you the writing model that we created from that outline. 好，欢迎各位同学回来。在休息之前呢，我们已经把整个大纲完成了。那接下来呢，我们就要让各位同学看一看，根据这个大纲，我们可以写出什么样的写作范例。To whom it may concern, I am writing to give my highest recommendation for Jennifer Lin. 敬请者，我写这封信是为了大力推荐林珍妮佛小姐。Miss Lin was my student in second year English reading and in fourth year English conversation. I was also her advisor. I have found her to be responsible, hardworking, and innovative. 林小姐是我二年级英文阅读以及四年级英文口语训练的学生。此外，我也是她的导师。我发现她是一个尽责、努力且具有创造力的学生。Miss Lin is one of the most responsible students that I have ever taught. She was always on time for class, and she always turned her assignments in on time. 林小姐是我教过的学生中最认真负责的人之一。他总是准时上课且交交作业。In addition, when the class worked in groups, Miss Lin usually acted as the group leader, which meant that she would record the opinions of the group and present them to the class. 此外，当班级进行分组的时候，林林小姐总是一肩负起，组长一职。这意味着她会汇集组中的意见，并且在课堂上做发表。Miss Lin is also extremely hardworking. She received excellent grades in both my classes. She was always well prepared for all the quizzes and exams that I gave. Lin 小姐也特别的努力，她在我的两门课中都拿到了高分。我给的小考跟测验，她总是能准备充足。In addition, I had the opportunity to coach her for the English speech contest in 2013. The contest consisted of a prepared speech and an impromptu speech. 此外，在二零一三年的英文演讲比赛，我曾经指导过她。比赛分为事前准备以及即席演讲。Miss Lin began planning for the prepared speech one month before the date of the contest. She wrote her own speech and gave it to me for corrections. 林小姐在比赛前一个月开始计划事前的准备，她自己写稿并让我修改。Then she spent weeks perfecting every aspect of her pronunciation and intonation before the contest. 接着，她花了数周让各方面极臻完美，包括她的发音以及她的语调。Miss Lin's hard work and preparation resulted in her taking first prize in both the prepared and impromptu sections of the speech contest. 林小姐的认真付出让她在两种比赛之中都拿到了第一名。Finally. Miss Lin is one of the most innovative students that I have ever taught. Miss Lin has always reacted quickly and creatively whenever she has had to perform in our in-class role-play activities. 最后，林小姐是我教过最有创意的学生之一。在班上的角色扮演活动之中，她总是可以迅速并且有创意的演出她的角色。She was also the leader for a group that made a brilliant presentation on endangered species in Taiwan when she was in my second year English reading class. 在二年级的阅读英文课里面，身为组长的她，在一个主在台湾濒临绝种动物的主题之中，有非常精彩的发表。The group prepared a creative skit and a number of interactive wall charts that kept the entire class interested in their presentation. 他们这一组准备了一些创意的短剧和一些图表贴在墙上与观众互动，让全班同学对于他们整段的发表都保持着高度兴趣。Jennifer Lin is one of the most talented students that I have taught in the last ten years, but beyond being talented, she also works hard to maximize the talent that she has. 在过去十年我所教过的学生之中，林小姐是最有天分的孩子之一。但除了天分之外，他也努力让他的天分发挥到最大值。I'm sure that she will be a wonderful asset to any company that hires her. 我很确信，无论哪间公司雇佣她，她都会是公司宝贵的资产。Sincerely, Professor Lydia Lee, NTCB. 诚心的 ，Lydia Lee， 这个 NC NTCB 的呃的教授。Right, so you can see here that. 
it's not hard to write a, uh, write a nice essay if you take the time to brainstorm and then create an outline. And then the writing should just flow right out of the outline easily. 你可以发现呢,一旦你有一个好的这个大纲之后呢,我要写一封推荐信其实并不困难哦。Right, so now what we're going to do now is take some time to go over the writing analysis activities that you can find on page 240 to 241 of your textbook. 好,我们接下来的时间呢,要帮助各位同学来做一些思考,请各位同学看一下课本 240页到 241页这边的写作练习。and what you need to do here is just match the, each quality with an example of that quality. Alright, and so we can take a look at some of the qualities that you're going to look for. And these are good secretarial skills. Another is hard working. 好,接下来是提到很努力的 Responsible 很负责任的 Experienced 有经验的 Good interpersonal relations skills 善于人际关系技巧的 Creative 有创意的 Intelligent 聪明的 Friendly and outgoing 有善大方的 And then finally independent 很独立的 And here are some examples and we're going to read them and see which qualities they match 好,我们接下来看一看例子 那我们来看看它是符合哪一个所谓的特质 the first example is she came up with many new ideas for the advertising campaign. 好, 第一个例子说, and this is an example of being creative. 哦, 那这当然很明显的, 就是代表他很具备这个创造力, 哦, right, number two, he worked late every night for two weeks until the project was finished. 好, 第二个例子呢, 则是他为了专案, Right, and the answer here is hard working. 好,那当然很明显的可以看得出来,他这么努力,那就是选择hardworking这个特质. Alright, number three says, she's able to finish all her projects ahead of schedule without any direct supervision. 好,第三个例子是,他可以独立并如期的完成他的计划,那当然这就是有具备独立的特质,所以我们选择independent. Right, and our next one is, he, has the, he had the highest score on the entrance test of all the students in the class. 好,下一个例子呢,则是在班上他在入学考试之中得到最高分。这也就是呢,我们如果要选择一下他的特质的话,就是他很聪明的。Right, she always made sure that all the audiovisual equipment was returned to the storage room. 好,下一个例子说到,他总是确保视听设备能被放回置物柜里。那当然这个特质呢,我们就是他很负责任。And let's do one more, and the next one said, that he has worked with the C++ programming language for the last four years. 好,那接下来如果各位同学对电脑有些研究的话,应该知道哦,那这个例子是说过去四年他致力于学习C++的这个城市语言。哦,那C加加语言呢,我们说他现在非常的熟练,所以呢,我们说他是一个有经验的。Right, so now let's talk about the homework that we want you to do. And so first of all, you can finish the writing analysis exercises on your own and then do the writing activity. 好,那当然呢,接下来我们这个礼拜的作业呢,请同学先完成写作分析的部分的练习,然后继续完成你的写作实习。And for your, for the writing activity, we want you to write your own recommendation letter. This can be for a friend, or maybe you can even write one about yourself. 好,那当然你是要写一封推荐信哦,那你可以呢想想你的一位朋友或是一个同事,那你也可以是写给你自己的。Alright, thanks for joining us this week for English Composition, we'll be back soon. 好,谢谢各位同学今天的参与,我们下礼拜再见。